What's up everybody? As you can see in front of me, we're going to talk about some gear today. Welcome back everybody. Like I said, we're going to talk about some gear, uh, mainly gear that you would need uh, for some of our classes. I've been getting a lot of questions around, you know, what type of gear I need and things like that. Um, just know that gear lists are in each class description uh, as well as ammo count and things like that. So that's also there and I'm also going to have this video available for anybody to go in and take a look at. Now, when it comes to the beginner firearm class, there's really not anything that you're going to need. That class is set up to really kind of go over gear. Uh, we'll have some different type caliber, I should say, different caliber guns out there for you to shoot. Because this is really the getting you the, te the stepping stone to buy your first gun, as well as maybe holsters and understand what some of the gear is you'll need uh, to continue training. When it comes to the intro classes, uh, really all you're going to need for the intro class is a good belt and then a good holster whether it be Kydex. Uh, this is from Black Mountain Holsters. Uh, all the gear you see here today uh, I'll have a link in the description below uh, so you can go in and take a look at it. But This is just a nice little inside the waistband Kydex holster from Black Mountain Holsters. Uh, there's 77 solutions and g-code and I mean we can sit here and list um, All the people that you've got available out there today. You've got Galco. It's just a leather inside the waistband holster uh, you, There's a couple of different outside the waistband holsters. Unfortunately, I Did not bring that one, but it is a black point. I'll throw a picture of it uh, right up here or here somewhere in the corner so you can kind of see what it looks like. It's a very nice holster. It's Kydex with leather. Um, you've also got this here that I've got on my vest. Let me pop it off real quick. Which is a Kydex holster. It's outside the waistband. It's the XST Kydex holster from G-Code. Uh, I've got this to carry on my vest and I've got it to carry on my belt as well. I can pop this attachment off, which I'm going to go over here shortly and put it onto just a regular duty belt, or it can fit onto uh, your battle belt, war belt, whatever you want to call it. I like it. It's a great holster. Uh, you've got double retention, so you've got the retention of the holster itself, plus you have the latch that comes over the top. It's just a little thumb press. And then you've got your RTI attachment to go from one attachment to a different attachment so that was one reason i went with g-code is there's tons of options uh, that are out there now there's other black hulk file in do things like this but i've just i like the g-code uh, veteran owned and operated so that was another thing that turned me on to it but this is a holster that you can use uh, with the intro to handgun um, or come with whatever holster that you might have already you're more than welcome to do that you know I'll make some recommendations on maybe a better option if if you need a better option but that's all going to be assessed when it comes to the intro uh, to handgun the intro to rifle you don't have to have a vest unless you want to go ahead and get a vest and when it comes to the fighting classes you'll definitely need a good belt with the handgun a good holster and some mag pouches I'm going to go over that here shortly but the intro class is mainly just a good belt a good holster for your handgun if you're doing a intro rifle you really don't need um, bag pouches or anything like that unless you already have them. if you already have them that's great 
you're already one up. But the intro, we're really just mainly focusing on the rifle and then I'll discuss different types of gear and holsters and things like that uh, to get you ready to move into the fighting classes. But here is a vest that I use. You can see here. So you've got your, I've got rifle mags up top and then pistol mags out front. This is all built into the vest. Now you can buy this vest plain with the Molly attachments and set it up how you like it. And then of course I've got my G-code RTI attachment out here. Uh, this is the, sorry I don't remember off the top of my head because there's so many different ones. This is the RTI HMAR. The reason I went with the HMAR is I have 12 different angles that I can set the holster to. So what I mean is I have one, two, essentially just like a clock, three, four, five, six, however you want to go. You can rotate this, you can set it up like that, you can set it up straight up. I have mine, as you can see, at a little bit of an angle when it's locked in. The reason I went with a little bit of an angle when I'm wearing it makes it easier for me to come in and take it out of the holster. I like it on my rig or on my chest rig a little bit better uh, than having like a drop leg. Uh, but now that I've got the duty belt, I might just leave it on it. Uh, who knows, I left it here just in case, but you can see I've got it at a little bit of an angle just to make it easier to grab. But again, you can get this. This is a Condor vest. Forgot what model. But as you can see, it's got a spot in the back here to put you in a camel pack. So your camel pack goes down through there and then you've got a spot for the tube to run through for you to drink out of. I've got a separate camel pack that I use. So honestly, I mainly use this little piece right here more as like a backpack sort of that's attached. So if there's stuff in here, We've even got a little molly attachment, so if you want to put something molly on there, you have this little Velcro piece right here in the middle. You know, I've used it to put extra mags down in if I've been doing some crazy training. Uh, you can put paper down, paperwork down in here, whatever you might be. And then you've got another little mesh attachment right back here at the back that you can store stuff in. So it's a, it's a very inexpensive vest. Uh, you see it's got your attachments here just like that it locks in and then you just throw it over your head and arm and then this comes down and under your underarm loops in right there and then you've got this that goes around the back to keep it from flopping around this will go around your back you've got the attachment there so it'll go right around your back and latch on. So this is a Condor vest. Um, I get questions all the time as far as plate carriers for rifle classes and pistol classes. Uh, my advice, if you're going to use a plate carrier and you're wanting to run plates, put that thing on before the class and wear it around the house while you're doing stuff, whether it be vacuuming, mopping, washing dishes, cutting grass, weed eating, whatever you might be doing around the house, put the plates in it, put it on, and get acclimated to it. I promise you, the ones that have listened to me and done that, they make it all the way through the class with the plate carrier. The ones that have not, and they've just shown up throwing it on, about an hour, hour and a half left in the class, they're pulling them plates out, sometimes even sooner. So plate carriers, I don't care. If you don't wear them, put them on ahead of time, get acclimated to it. Truthfully, even if you're just getting a vest like this, and I have, what, six, I can get six rifle mags with one, two, three, four, five, six pistol mags. And then, of course, the pistol. Put that thing on and get acclimated to it. Now, I'm not saying load up your gun or anything like that, but put some ammo in your mags, put it on, get acclimated to it. I'm telling you gonna make a world of difference when you get out there and start running and gunning. A huge, huge world of difference. But again, uh, there's these, there's plate carriers, there's um, some people call them contractor rigs, which is essentially just a small rifle plate carrier that would fit and go around your shoulders 
and it would just fit right here makes it where you can put a jacket on it doesn't really you can't really tell that you've got mags in there it's it just kind of makes you look you know swole or a little chubby depending on where you wear and then you've got your standard this is a 511 tactical series um what's the style five nine four eight five but it's in their tactical series uh, as you can see i can't really bend this in half that's what you want to look for when you're looking for a good belt if i can take it and see how i'm grabbing it like this and i'm trying to squeeze it what i'm trying to do is fold it together like that if you can squeeze your belt and fold it together like this so where it's doing essentially your belt's here and it's folding up like that it's not a good belt to be carrying a gun especially a gun with some extra mags it's just not going to work i like this it's just a quick little velcro system here around she goes so it's very very good i enjoy it a lot uh, but i will probably be using more of the war belt battle belt whatever you want to call them set this stuff off to the side here those holsters so as you can see you got your cobra attachment here in the front and then of course you got your underbelt that is velcro so you would put this underbelt on through your belt loops and then the top part of the belt would just velcro right over the top and then latch in so i like this a lot uh, there's others out there that have them some of them are a little wider that have a little bit more padding to it maybe a little bit more comfortable to you but this is the safe life defense uh, duty belt and i really liked it a lot i did a lot of searching a lot of watched a lot of reviews and this to me was the best option for me uh, plus they also allowed me to uh, make payment increments onto uh, the belt when i bought it so that helped out not that it's any more pricey than any of the other belts that are out there whether it be uh, vtac um, bravo concealment g code's got belts as well uh, it's right in line with what everything else was but just because of the options to do installment payments made it a little bit better for me made it a lot easier um, i've got more g-code on here these are g-code these are the scorpion soft shell mag pouches i like these a lot i've got two for the rifle i've got two for the pistol and of course with the safe life i've got molly attachments from one end of the belt to the other end of the belt so you there's a lot more that you can put on here if i want to put more pistol mags or more rifle mags you know i've got that option as well i will say when you're getting them where i goofed up is i got the tall i would recommend getting the short that's why these kind of move around a little bit so i will be going back and investing into the short a little bit better because from what i found the short fit in here a lot better and they don't have as much movement but again that's not anything bad about the product that was just my goof when i was doing the ordering of course i've got my knife here you know you don't have to have a knife on here i do I uh, know I don't have my medical kit on here. I got that in the vehicle that I keep in the vehicle sometimes. But this is, you know, pretty much some of the things that, that you're going to need as your training advances. But again, now for the fighting pistol, you don't have to have a belt like this. You can have just your standard 511, just your regular belt like this. So this is only if you're, you know, depending on what you're wanting to do again for the rifle class if you want just a battle belt duty belt war belt whatever you want to call it whatever the company calls that you buy it, buy it from you have that option where you can do this and do a pistol class or a rifle class with this one system right here and if not you've got your chest rigs so there there's there's different options out there and you know, unfortunately, it's not one of those things where you can go to a store and be like, oh, I want to try this on with this gun and see how it's going to fit. A lot of the stuff I've done over the years uh, has been through uh, trial and error. Now, that is the, the downside to some of this stuff. 
and not being able to put it on and kind of wear it around. Even just your regular, you know, your regular holsters like this right here. You know, getting a good holster that you like that's going to fit comfortably is trial and error. You know, I did, well, I would do my research, go in and see what other people are doing as far as reviews. But this is pretty much some of the stuff you're going to need depending on what you're taking. Um, you can get vests like these if you're taking a shotgun class where, again, these, aren't, these mag pouches aren't attached. You can change it around and set it up strictly for shotgun. You can buy uh, things for attachments for your belts like this to set it up for shotgun. So you've got tons of options out there depending on what you're taking. I just wanted to give everybody you know, a quick look at some of the things that I've used um, when I was training and what I use when I'm actually teaching a class. So here's some of your options. A lot of people have been asking about this. I apologize that it's taking me so long. Uh, but we all know if you've been watching the page and everything what I've been dealing with and I'm going to have a video kind of an update on that to let you see you know give you an idea of what's going on and what's been happening the other thing real quick I want to talk about as you can see here are ears these are walker I like these because they fit very comfortably over the ear and you have your little microphone system here so what it does is I can just Put this on turn it on and leave them on while i'm conducting class and i can hear you know what people are saying no not everybody will bring these i'm not going to require you to have these i can talk loud enough to where you'll still hear me even if you don't have some of these but i like these because i really don't have to take them on and off on and off on and off i can leave them on and be able to talk to everybody just like we're having a conversation now without having to really holler uh, they've got some really fancy ones where you can Bluetooth and talk to each other. Uh, so that might be something I may be looking into the future and start providing, you know, the hearing protection and stuff like that where I can just talk through the Bluetooth and like that. But for right now, good set of ears, whether it be something that goes over the ear, something that goes in the ear. I have some people that will wear the in the ear and even get these. So it's really on what you want to do. but. I've been doing this for quite some time now. I've never lost my hearing using something just like this. I will say rifle shotgun, I would wear something more like this. Pistols, I can probably just get by with sticking some little styrofoam stuff in my ears, but rifle pistol or rifle shotgun, you definitely need something like this. Walker is a very, very good product. Again, these are the Walker Razor headphones, headsets whatever you want to call it, but very, very good product, very inexpensive. So you kind of see the different options that you have out there. I hope this kind of helps everybody out a little bit, uh, depending on what you're wanting to do. I have people that show up with chest rigs. I have people show up with battle belts. I have people show up with regular belts, regular belts and chest rigs, chest rigs, battle belts. Um, the contractor rigs, as you call them, where it's essentially just let me move this out of the way. essentially just this little part right here, and then you've got straps that go around your shoulder. Everything just kind of clicks together, and you're ready to go. So it's all up to you on what you want to do. If you have any questions around gear or anything like that, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'll be going back and doing some individual videos on each piece of equipment here just to kind of discuss these a little bit more in depth but I wanted to get a good video out there so everybody can see what the different options are you know I'll put some pictures of chest rigs and stuff like that that are your plate carriers and your contractor rigs like I talked about I'll put some pictures of those somewhere here here uh, I'll put links down in the description so you can go and look at them again there'll be links to each piece of equipment that you've seen here as far as the rig, the attachments, uh, the holsters, all that stuff, you'll have links down there in the description below. And I think I've got pretty much everything, mag pouches, I'm just trying to look back through, make sure I didn't miss anything. So, nope, we're good to go. I've got everything discussed again. Any questions, reach out to me website, contacts, emails, phone calls, text messages, 
Facebook Messenger, I don't really care, reach out, I'll be glad to help you out in any way that I can. And again, our new schedule is up and ready to go. So make sure you get in there and get that checked out and get signed up. I've got some special stuff coming up in the near future as well as far as some sales and deals. So be on the lookout for that as well. And always remember folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fired. If you're not fired, you're dead. Train to live.